We need to install the backplate for our CPU killer, so we're going to need to remove these pins to the outer slot of this Intel bracket. So it's just a matter of pulling them all to the outer setting. And then the bracket should line up with the holes on the back of the motherboard. Then we've got one of these spacers to go into each corner. Now it's important to use the spacers labelled 1700. So we can set our fans onto the radiator and we're going to want to have our radiator as intake at the front. So that's the reason I'm installing the fans this way round. We can then use the long radiator screws to secure the fans to the radiator. Coming with each of our fans, we've got a four pin PWM connector and deep cool include this triple splitter cable with the IIO. So all we need to do is plug one of the fans into each of the connectors on this cable. And that's then gonna leave us one four pin PWM connector to plug into our CPU fan header. So coming from our pump, we've got two connectors. We've got a three pin connector, which is gonna power the pump and also allow us to control the speed from the motherboard. The other is a three pin five volt ARGB connector to control the lighting. It's also got a splitter cable, so if you have limited ARGB headers on your motherboard, you are gonna be able to plug something else in it to here. We can then set the IO into the case, and then we'll get it secured into place with the shorter radiator screws. I'm then just gonna route all our fan cables down to the bottom of the case, pushing them in down the side of the radiator so they're out of sight. I can then bring the cable through the cutout at the top and route it down to our CPU fan header where I'm gonna get it plugged in. And then we'll just tuck the excess cable up to the back. The next thing for us to do is fit the brackets to our pump. The reason I've waited to do it till now is because you'll notice we've got pre-applied thermal paste to the back of our CPU killer, and we've got this protective plate over it. The problem is once we remove the protective plate to fit the brackets, we're not gonna be able to fit it back on again. So I'm gonna remove the protective plate now, and then I can set one of the LGA 1700 mounting brackets into place. And then we've got these little screws that come with the IO. I'm gonna pass it through the bracket and into the pump and screw it into place. And then we can set the bottom bracket into place and get it screwed in. And one of the nice things I'm noticing just as I'm screwing these in, it does seem to be magnetized. So if I drop the screw, it seems to go straight into the hole and stay there, which is just a really, really nice touch that Deepcool have got here. This is, can be quite tricky, but look at it, it just sits in the hole perfectly. The other thing that might help with the installation is this cover is removable. So it actually is just magnetically attached, so I can go ahead and pull it off. So then we can go ahead and line the IO up with the bracket we installed earlier on. And what we're gonna to want to do is get a thumb screw onto each corner. The three pin cable we've got coming from the IO, I'm just gonna plug it into our pump header just above the CPU fan header, and then we'll just bring the excess cable up to the top. Just before we return the cover, there is some plastic protection over the mirror, so it makes sense to remove that outside the case. And then I can return the cover. The only additional cable is this RGB cable, and we've got two headers at the top of the motherboard, so I'm gonna get plugged into them. And then again, I'm just gonna route the excess cable up the side of the AIO and get it pushed up towards the back. 